It's that time again. Yeah, that's fine. We're re and we're basically going to have fun. It's going to be semi-planned, but mostly loose. So. Normally we have a jam at the end of the night, but we got so many musicians in the house, we just drafted them right up front. That's right. We're delighted to have one of the show's original horn players, Mr. Peck. Jack Peck on horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard him on a few little songs like The Man of the Woman and things like that. And, another, and we got, what's that slew up here tonight? We got Mr. Terry Richardson from the band of Midnighters sitting in with Dick Bertha on the bass. Dick yeah. Rock Bertha with you tonight. And a friend of mine that um, we haven't played music together probably in 30 years, we played in a college band together, Mr. Bobby Doolittle. And <laughs> Peter Bug over there. And our good friend Stephen Foster, who's going to be playing later tonight with the wild man himself, John Wacker. Good to have you with us, Mr. Steve. You're going to like this guy picking and singing and writing. Got 220 Slim back here on the harpoon. Oh, yeah. We, we loaded for back. He'll be jumping in with us. Mr. Arthur Alexander was a class act, and uh, he passed away a couple years ago. We miss him, and we're going to do some of his songs. Stand by
Stand by me one more time. Yeah, stand by me. 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 Thank you all very much for tuning in. We are delighted to have a lady that came down a month or so ago and did our showcase and uh, just blew everybody away and uh, immediately asked her to, to uh, be our handy fest headliner tonight. And we're delighted to have from downtown Memphis, the Boogie Woogie Queen of Memphis, Miss Sandy Carroll. Y'all are going to love this lady. This is what the blues and blues is all about. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. I'm Jerry McGee, so I'm Mickey Buckins. We want to thank Terry Richardson on the bass, Mr. Steven on the, the keyboards, Craig on the drums, we'll be following on the guitar and other things. We don't get out of the way and turn to listen to the same when we get up here over the steer. How you doing, Jerry? And just type in on your search, you couldn't to get there right now, just type in most of the shows and then, then it'll give you several venues and you can find a, a show song like a showcase. And uh, we have several songs on that. We've had everybody here from the Mason Road Mason's to Blend in the Blonde and Mac Mac and Alley. And uh, you can find some great shows we've had in the past and uh, we're live every Thursday and we hope y'all will check that out sometime if you can't be here. We getting close over there? We need to move the town this way soon. And uh, we'll book you. We don't turn anybody down. We ask you not to get real dirty, and, and we'll let you do anything from gospel to hard rock. And uh, we, we welcome you here to Muscle Shows. Uh, this place is quite infamous all over the world for putting out some great musicians. Okay. Hey, uh, let me ask Will. Okay. We got a little equipment problem. Give us just a second. This is interesting. This uh, next song, it's so much fun to do songwriter things because you get to talk a little bit about the songs. But um, this one is about food. I did it when I was down here before. It's about gumbo. Yeah. Like the and, uh, hello on the internet and welcome to WC Handy Week, and, uh, which is very near and dear to my heart. You know, Florence and Muscle Shoals and Chevrolet Lee have a lot, a lot of great music coming out of here. I tell you, it's, it's legendary. And those of you that just saw this A&E biography not long ago with Sam Phillips and they came in and shot footage down here. I thought that was so cool. Hey, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty This is as live as it gets, you guys.
And it's a song of, I wrote about a single mother uh, friend of mine who has so many things going on. It's called Too Many Hats and Just One Old Pair of Shoes.
Believe it or not, there are people in most of the shows that don't get out and hear music. I find that hard to believe, but there are a few. So, for those people, we'll do this course, Blues 101. And for the rest of you, just bear with me. And if anybody's offended, I'm very sorry. Uh, it's not intended, it's part of the handy thing we're doing here. Let me just run this by you for a minute. All good musicians should be family and firmly grounded in the classics. This will give you the basic context or knowledge you need to perform the blues for an admiring, if pitying, audience. All right. Most blues begin with woke up this morning. This is to differentiate, that's a big word, differentiate, blues musicians from most other musicians who sleep past noon. It's working, it's working. Uh, yeah. The nice thing about the blues is that once you've written the first line, you're pretty much done with the second line, too. Y'all know about that. Chevys and Cadillacs are blues cars. Other acceptable blues models of transportation are as follows. Greyhound bus, southbound train, or walking. You can have the blues in New York City, but not in Vail, or any town whose name ends in beach. Y'all understand that? St. Louis, Chicago, and Kansas City are the good times for the blues. All right. Shot in the back by a jealous lover is a blues way to die. It is not a blues death if you die during a liposuction treatment. You have the right to sing the blues if you're blind, you can't be satisfied. But not if you shot an 85 at golf, your dad left you a trust fund which you blew through, or once you were blind but now you can see. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> For the blues, the highway, jailhouse, empty bed, freight train, on and on. Now y'all getting this all, man? So you taking notes on this? All right, bad places for the blues. Bad places for the blues. Yellowstone National Park, the Country Club, gallery openings, or the Hamptons. I don't think there's any blues in the Hamptons, y'all. If you ask for water and your bed give you gasoline, that's the blues. Other blues drinks include the following. Wine, whiskey, and muddy water. All right. Blues beverages do not include any drink with an umbrella, any wine kosher for Passover, Yoo-hoo in all flavors, and jello shots. There ain't nothing blue about that. All right, picking a blues name. Now this is very important if you intend to have a career in the blues. You've got to pick a good name. Picking a blues name starts with an infirmity, and for you individuals who don't understand that, it pretty much means a affliction. You've got to be either blind, Little, fat, big, or sleepy. Now you add on to that, Willie, John, or Joe, and then you pick a U.S. president, either Washington, Johnson, Fillmore, or Roosevelt. Persons with names like Ashley, Chad, Kimberly, Mackenzie, Brad, or Tyler may not sing the blues, and that is Blues 101, y'all. Now, right now, where is Tim Hooper? I think he's getting ready. Anyway, this man, when he gets up here, is a wild Englishman. Just, 
Tim used to blow the house guy every year here at the, at the festival. He's a boogie woogie kind of guy too. And we're really glad he could be here with us. He, I know he just got here. He's been driving all day from Gulf Shores. He's been down there before about to doing his thing without us. Without us. So if he looks a little ragged and bedraggled, you have to understand he's been down there living a tough life, eating shrimp, drinking beer early in the summer. So we don't have a little pity on him, but not much. But he, he is here, and he has made the effort to be here, and we're really glad that he did, and proud to have him. And uh, after Butch, I mean, I want to see Foster Show, which is going to amaze, dazzle, and be drag on you. And after that, we got some more. I think we're going to get Sandy back up to do a little more boogie with you.
Oh, 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 oh,